everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Fantastic Four. So, Fantastic Four has director Josh Trank, the director of Chronicle, and it stars the talents of Miles Teller, Michael B. Jordan, Jamie Bell, and Kate Mara, along with Toby Kebbell. And this film is about the group. They get their powers, they have to learn to use their powers, and they have to stop Doctor Doom from his evil plan. I'll admit, the trailers were really good. I will give the movie that. Really good trailers, especially that teaser trailer. I mean, my god, that what an incredible teaser trailer. Despite the good trailers, however, I still had my skepticisms with this movie, and I had even more skepticisms when I kept hearing about all the behind-the-scenes drama that has been happening with director Josh Trank and Fox and what the cast had to go through. Now, I'll say this. I don't think it's one of the worst movies ever made. It doesn't come close to that, in my opinion. However... Fantastic Four was still a bad movie. It is one of the worst movies in 2015. And honestly, it just depresses me. Like, when I watch a bad movie, I'm normally frustrated. But with Fantastic Four, it's so bad that I'm not even frustrated. I'm just downright depressed. I mean, I watch this movie, and there's potential. Potential is shown bits and pieces throughout the movie. There are certain things going on in this movie. We're all more like, wow, this could have been something good. This could have been something intriguing and interesting. It didn't have to be one of the best comic book movies ever made, but it could have been something really cool, honestly. It's like they just took the premise, dumped in the toilet, and they took a big fat dump all over it. That's literally how it felt. Now I will say that for the first 25 minutes the movie was actually good. The storyline was engaging, it was interesting. You know it just had me invested in the movie and I'm all like wow I could be into something really fun right here. And of course the movie takes a big downfall from there but the first 25 minutes you know, it was actually pretty darn good, at least in my opinion. Miles Teller, Kate Mara, Michael B. Jordan, Jamie Bell, despite them having completely bland and uninteresting characters, they actually did give good performances. Like, to their credit, for the shitty, boring script they had to work with, they each gave really good performances, including the gentleman, Reg E. Cathy, who plays Johnny Storm's father. I thought he did a really good job in the movie, even though, once again, his character was not interesting. The one thing I will say that was visually good about this movie was the thing. However, where the fuck are your pants, man? The thing looked cool, and out of all the Fantastic Fours, I did care about the thing the most. The aspect of the Fantastic Four of them traveling to an alternate dimension, I actually thought that was really interesting. And that whole entire scene when they are going to the other dimension, I was like, wow, that was actually pretty cool. I actually really liked that. But it's not really until towards the end of the movie, but it was still like really cool to see. And I will say, despite the fact that this movie did fail, in my opinion, of course, I do think the movie trying to be the sci-fi horror film, at least attempting to, you know, I actually thought that was pretty cool because, you know, turning a comic book movie into this sci-fi horror film, I actually thought that was clever for the movie to try. But now let's get to my negatives. First of all, as I said when I was describing the good performances, performances were good, characters are bland as hell. There's really little to no personalities for each of the characters. Kate Mara as the Invisible Woman, she had a little bit. I would even say Jamie Bell as the Thing had a little bit, but everyone else, oh my gosh, are their personalities just flat and non-existent. These characters are not interesting. I was not rooting for these characters. The movie is very poorly constructed. I mean, after the first 25 minutes, it's all like, Where's the structure in Fantastic Four? Like seriously, where's the structure? 
The structure was so out of place. It's so horrible. It's so disjointed. How the movie was structured, how the editing was, the editing is so god awful. It felt like this movie was just trying to rush through scenes after scenes after scenes just to get to the climax and I'll get to the climax. But man, did this movie just feel like it was rushing after another moment, after another moment. To the point where they actually skipped a year. The tone feels so disjointed. It feels flat. And that's what I think makes a character so dull. Because the movie barely adds any humor. And when it does add humor, it doesn't really work. I laughed maybe once or twice with the humor. And that's really it. I know the 2005 and the 2007 film especially get a ton of shit. But I'm going to be honest when I say I actually did really enjoy both the 2005 and the 2007 film. And the reason I do like those films is because they're fun. Yes, are they cheesy? Oh yes, hell yes they're cheesy. But they're fun movies in my opinion. And I actually gave a shit about the characters. You know why? Because the characters in the 2005 and 2007 films actually have personalities. I gave a shit about Ian Griffud as Mr. Fantastic, Michael Chiklis as a Thing, Chris Evans as a Human Torch, and Jessica Alba as the Invisible Woman. And speaking of the Invisible Woman, even though I did like Kate Mara here, I did not buy her as the Invisible Woman. The rest, yeah, I did buy them enough. Jessica Alba was a way better Invisible Woman than Kate Mara because I do personally think Jessica Alba fits the part of the character very well. Besides the visual on the thing looking really good, the rest of the visuals, you know, good visuals, phew, thrown out the window because the visuals in this movie are absolutely dreadful. We're in 2015 and the visuals look like utter shit. Oh, and to top it all off, the background, the green screen looked god awful. Some of the reviewers pointed out that with the fake background and the horrible visuals that look like a freaking video game, like a PS1 game, I have to agree with them because the visuals in this movie they don't even look like visuals that came out in 2015. The, the visuals look like something that came out of the 1990s. And you know what's even sad? Some of the visuals in the 1990s look better than the visuals in Fantastic Four. Or should I say, the shit-tastic four. Toby Kebbell, yes. The actor who played Koba in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Fantastic movie. Great role for the guy. Completely wasted in this movie. He was fine. He was fine in his role you know before he was doomed you know he was just normal and he was just okay but his character is completely bland just like the other characters and he just acted way too wooden. Doctor Doom the look of Doctor Doom <sighs> man he looks so stupid. The design of him is just so cringeworthy. I mean, he has this glow and his face and his mouth doesn't move. Dr. Doom was just completely wasted as the villain. He wasn't menacing or intense in any way. Even with the bad stuff he did, he was never convincing. His reason for just taking over the world is just so stupid in general. Josh Trank's direction does not even help either, which is really disappointing because I love Chronicle. Chronicle is one of my favorite movies of 2012. I thought it was a very cool, original concept that I thought Josh Trank did a really great job on, but how he directed this movie just felt so sloppy. Oh, and speaking of sloppy, guys, the climax was so utterly rushed. Fantastic Four, they just freaking defeat Doctor Doom like nothing. Seriously. It's bad enough I didn't buy them as a team. It's bad enough we had a stupid villain. And we get a climax that's absolutely rushed. So basically the buildup of this movie is having a shitty structure rushing scene after scene after scene to reach the climax which was also very rushed leading up to an ending that is that is just so stupid! Like the final scene of this movie made me give a big old facepalm when I left the theater. 
look, I know there has been a lot of shit going on behind, but the thing that saddens me, honestly, guys, and like I said, I'm more depressed about this movie than I am frustrated, is because this movie has so much potential. And the thing that really saddens me is when you put no heart, no soul, no passion into this movie. And when I watched this movie, it clearly showed. You know, I don't want to assume what I read. You know, it could have been Josh Trank's fault. It could have been Fox's fault. It could be both of their faults. But honestly, guys, I just wish there was more passion into it. It was clear that this movie was made so they wouldn't have to give the rights back to Marvel. Fantastic Four, it's one of the worst movies of 2015. It's just a soulless movie that by the time it ended, I just feel empty inside. I'm just depressed because of how good this movie could have been. But instead, it was more about the money and keeping the rights rather than actually trying to tell a very compelling story. I'm going to give Fantastic Four, no, 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 no. I'm going to give Shittastic Four one and a half out of four stars. So you guys in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Fantastic Four. And also you guys, I got to be on Mark Krochik's podcast, The Spoiler Room, to spoil and discuss Fantastic Four. A lot of different opinions when it came to this movie in the podcast, very awesome points. So if you guys want to check that out, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!